I'd like to talk to you today about distorted thinking. Some people call it faulty thinking, twisted thinking, whatever you like. What, what I mean by that is when your thoughts, your conclusions, and your decisions are just irrational, they don't make sense. For example, have you ever found yourself saying things like, oh, I have tried everything, nothing works. I've tried everything there is to try to solve this and, and I haven't found the solution. When in fact, you cannot possibly have tried everything there is to try. You at the most tried four, five, ten things maybe, but never have you tried everything there is to try to solve a problem. Or maybe you've said to yourself something like, oh, he hasn't returned my call, so he doesn't care about me. When it's perfectly possible that this person just was busy and was unable to call you at the time that you expected. Maybe you, you've said to yourself also, I'm a good person, so God has to bless me, which again is faulty thinking because nowhere in the Word of God does it say that God rewards the good. God rewards people by faith and not by merit. Maybe you've said to yourself, I work so hard at this business, I work so hard in this relationship, but I get nothing in return. I'm the only one putting the effort in here. It just isn't fair. When again, life is not fair. Life never is fair. Fairness is not a quality that you find in life. You just have to deal with the unfairness of life to be practical and rational about the things that happen around you. So, None of these thoughts will really lead us anywhere. Faulty thinking, distorted thinking, never brings real change. And yet our minds are constantly filled with these thoughts that not only don't help us, but sometimes are just plain dangerous. And any of us, the, the biggest danger is that any of us can fall easily into this trap of faulty thinking if we are not watching. I always like to find out what the scriptures say about a specific subject. And when we come to faulty thinking, you don't have to look too long to find what the scriptures say about the subject. Things like, a man is what he thinks. As a man thinks, so is he in the book of Proverbs. It also says, the God of this world has blinded the minds of people so they won't see the light of God's message. We also see this other verse that says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. These are just to name a few. The point I want to make today is intelligent faith depends on a healthy, sound mind. If your thinking is faulty, distorted, or just twisted, just plain irrational, then tell me, how will it help your faith? Think about how you've been thinking, and until next week, God bless you.